The song For the Ones You Love was written out of a couple of scriptures, and the first one I'll read right now, it's from Revelation 1. It says, To him who loves us and released us from our sins by his blood, and he has made us to be a kingdom, priests to God, priests to his God and Father. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Mm. Amen. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all of the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. So it is to be. Amen. Mm. The song um, starts just proclaiming that verse and singing out of that scripture about who he is, about his return, and about him being raised up and seen as he returns mm. on the clouds. And I love this song because there's a, a key change in the middle of the song and things break open. And for me, it, it really takes me in my heart to the place of the sky breaking open and the relief of the return of Christ. Mm. Uh, I, have often thought of the return of Christ as a fearful thing, but in the song, as I worship, I experience it as a great mm. relief. And uh, the words in the second half of the song are improvised out of Song of Solomon 4, where the lover is calling to his beloved, and he's saying, the winter is gone, the spring is here, the shadows are fleeing from the land, arise and come with me because mm. your voice is sweet and your form is lovely and I when I even though I sang that when I listen to it I receive it as the beloved I feel the call of my lover mm. calling me to rise and he's calling his church to rise she rises up and she's beautiful and he admires her and he's he's mm. calling her forward <laughs> 